obviously, you know, some of you guys do and some of you guys don't like these Bible studies, but I'm going to continue to do them. And I'm blessed and honored to be able to make a video today because I've kind of fallen off the track, but uh, I'm going to just try to keep it up. So, obviously, you can see by the title, today we'll be talking about how to receive the Holy Spirit. And... Uh, I do believe that a lot of churches, when they teach this, they teach it a lot with feelings, and you need to feel the Holy Spirit and this and that, but it's not anything you can do, it's what God does for you, and I will further explain, but uh, let's go ahead and give a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for blessing us, bringing us up to this point, and providing for us everything that we have. Father, I pray that you continue to help us uh, learn and you guide us into all truths and uh, guard my tongue from error as I teach, Lord, and um, empower me so that I may say the right things, Lord, so I may glorify you through this word. And Lord, I, I pray for the, the reader and the listener that um, you give them a heart of not only understanding, but more importantly, acceptance, that they can accept this word and hold it as truth. And I pray that uh, if somebody was searching for this, um, that, that this be a blessing to them and they have their prayers answered. And I pray that uh, this finds somebody who needs it, and I know it will. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so how do we see, receive the Holy Spirit? short reading. Let's go to Ephesians 1. Ephesians chapter 1. I read from the King James Version. My Bible's in the car. But I have the um, Bible gateway on my phone. So Ephesians chapter 1 verse in whom ye also trusted. Okay, let's start from verse 12. That we should be to the praise of his glory who first trust in Christ. So obviously, we're speaking about Christ, Jesus, right? Verse 13, in whom ye also trusted. So trusted in Christ. After that, ye heard the word of truth. So first you trust him. And you hear the word of truth. What is this word of truth? Well, it tells us the gospel of your salvation. So after you trust, you hear the word of truth. The gospel. In whom also after that ye believed. So after you hear the gospel, you trust in it. And you believe in it. What? Ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So, the Bible clearly tells us it's not that we can pray for the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come into my life, da, da, da. It's that you hear the gospel and you trust in it. God fills you with His love. He fills you with His Spirit because He's, and it's a, it's a seal, sealing something. Imagine you seal something really tight. That means it's closed. It's finished, right? It's a promise to you, it says. Ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. And God cannot lie. It would go against His nature. And God cannot break a promise because that would be lying. So this Holy Spirit of promise is that when you decide to give your life and believe in the gospel, after you heard it and trusted in Jesus, God says, You are now mine. I promise you, you will be sealed and you will be saved. So, if you don't know what the gospel is, it's very simple. You were born, right, into this world. All of us have made mistakes, whether we've uh, lied, whether we've cheated, cheated, whether we've stolen, whether we've even got angry at somebody, we can all agree that these are relatively not good things. And for those things, 
because obviously we deserve some type of punishment, you know? Some things can be, in the human sense, some things can be like, oh, that's not a big deal, but we can all agree that these things are bad. And sometimes we see the consequences of our actions, of our faulty actions. But the truth is, we, we deserve death because we mess up every day and, and we're so blessed. We get a house and we're ungrateful. We have a car to go to work and we don't like work. We're ungrateful for the things that we're blessed with. We're able to go to school and we hate school because we're ungrateful. We have a heart that's evil. If somebody's blessing us and giving it to us, we don't deserve to be connected to that person who's blessing us. But Jesus Christ came, took on your sin, and paid your debt, the debt that you owed, that you don't deserve to be connected to that person who blesses you. He took that, he put it on himself, and he died on the cross, and rose again in three days, proving that death has no dominion over him, that your sins were forgiven. So if you trust in Jesus, I trust that you did take my sins and nail them to the cross. And I believe that you rose again from the dead, from the grave on the third day. Then, boom, Jesus, God says, you are now sealed with promise of the Holy Spirit.
it's a bit scary. When we die, we don't, we want to know where we would go, but God says, I promise you, believe in me, and I promise you, I'll tell you where you're going. You're, you're going to come with me in heaven, and you will have no suffering, no pain, and I promise you that by giving you this spirit, and I seal, seal you with it, so it's closed, it's finished. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I explained it well, or if you understood, or if you have any questions left over at the end. But, uh, I pray that, I pray and hope you guys have a great rest of your day, or great rest if you're about to sleep. Uh, God bless you guys, and I will get you, I don't know, soon hopefully. <laughs>